Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing and demoing the Hourglass Stick Foundation. There was a little bit of confusion at first as to whether it was vegan or not, but they have confirmed that it is vegan. So I grabbed one because a lot of you asked about this versus the Anastasia one, and you know, I, I aim to please. So the shade I got it in was Nude. I will show you a close-up of the packaging and everything. As far as I know, this is not targeted to kind of normal or oily skin. I think it's meant to be pretty much good for anyone who tries it, but not targeted towards any one skin type. So yeah, let's get into the video and I'll show you how this applies and how I like it. So starting with the packaging, as always from Hourglass, it looks beautiful. It has definitely got a good weight to it. And then the stick itself is a kind of long triangle. Tri triangular stick. Mm -hmm. Like I said, weighted very nicely, feels very luxurious. And then mine had been squashed into the lid. I know I could probably send it back, but I can't be bothered and I wanna use it. So you twist the bottom and it comes out the top as the stick usually does and just from looking at it it does look like it's very creamy so if you guys saw my Anastasia stick review I will link that those sticks are a lot firmer um, they're more of a dry consistency because they're more for oily skin but I think this is meant to be a lot creamier and more buttery so we will see I do already have a light moisturizer on but it's mostly been absorbed so I'm just gonna spritz my face with a little of the Osea C vitamin boost I know they recommend that you use their mineral primer for this, but I just, I like the first try to be with just a moisturizer or something. And I don't so much use their primer anymore, I just don't think it quite so much suits my skin as it used to. That was too much information. Instructions. Does anybody else have a really hard time finding their language sometimes? I mean, I basically only speak one but I still have to really focus on finding English at times. Formula is highly concentrated, only a small amount is needed. Start with less and blend, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I think I got it. I did not buy the brush that went with it because I just didn't want to, but I do have their foundation brush. So I'm gonna try one side of my face with a foundation brush and one with a damp sponge, just to see which works best. And yeah, I'll zoom you in, shall I? Yeah, I'll zoom you in. So like I said, the shade I got is nude. That is what I've bought from them before. And let's go ahead and put it on my face. Oh, That feels like I'm actually putting a stick of butter on my face. I'm gonna try the brush. Well, that worked beautifully. It actually does feel a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna feel once it's blended out. I was kind of nervous it was gonna feel like I was actually wearing butter still. But let's go ahead and try the sponge on the other side. So I think either would work. I do think the brush was a little bit easier on this side, um, just because it seemed to kind of get into any little nooks and crannies a little easier. Um, but you could definitely use either. I know they suggest that you use their brush specifically for this, but like I said, I didn't get that. I do think that this color is a yellow toned color. I thought that it said it was like neutral online, but it definitely is a more yellow toned foundation in my eyes. So maybe just keep that in mind. I don't know if they all run more on the yellow side or not, but um, definitely look up swatches if you're unsure. 
I am going to add a little bit more in any areas that I need a little bit more and use the brush to buff that out. I have noticed that it seems like the pores around here are being enhanced a little bit. I do have big pores there anyway, it's not like they came out of nowhere, but I think it's probably something I could fix with a little bit of powder afterwards, so that's just something that I will keep an eye on. I would say the coverage is about medium, but I do think that this stick might depend on your skin type as to how it shows up. Because it is a more kind of creamy texture, if you are more on the oily side, I think you might have a harder time building it up. But I do really, really like it. It definitely blended out really easy. This would be awesome just to put a few swipes on and blend it out. Whereas sometimes the drier stick foundations, you do need to apply a lot more and it might be a little bit more difficult to kind of buff all the way around the face. Just a difference in how they need to be applied really nothing bad either way so I do really like that so far I am going to apply a little bit of concealer and other stuff just to see how they kind of play so I'm gonna go ahead and put some concealer on and I'm using the Kat Von D Lock It concealer cream in L7 Why didn't anyone tell me that I had eyelash glue stuck in my eyelashes? Oh, I really do wish that you guys could interact in real time sometimes. So that did blend together really nicely, didn't seem to like interact or pick anything up when I used that, so I am really happy with it so far. I am going to set directly under my eyes with the Kat Von D setting powder. I'm not going to apply it down here, just because those pores are already showing a little bit more and I not sure if it would enhance them or not, but I do think that the primed and poreless would work well there So that's what I'm going to use in this area I am going to apply a little bit of bronzer This is just a foundation from 100% pure in the shade mousse just so I can see how powders play on top of it I do just want to add a little bit of blush, so I'm going to use the Hourglass Luminous Flush Blush. Then I'm just going to apply some of my favourite highlighter, which is Dripping in Gold from Anastasia. So everything did blend very nicely. Um, powders went on top of it nicely, were easy to blend out, um, didn't pick up any product underneath and so far everything seems to be like playing very well together. So I am still noticing that it kind of accentuates these pores a little bit but I might try it with a different primer or moisturizer another time and see how that goes. Uh, maybe more of a stippling brush might work better in that area or just use a primer so I will try that. Right now I'm going to go do my eyes and I will be right back to give you my final thoughts. 
now the rest of my makeup is done. I did notice by the time I was done with my eyes and lips that it had kind of eaten a little bit of the bronzer and stuff I'd put on, so I just added a little bit more, and that does seem to have kind of made it up a little bit, so you might just need to add a little bit more bronzer or blush than you think with this product, I think just because it's not as dry as what I'm maybe used to. But I love the finish. I also did run upstairs to grab something and in the daylight it looks great as well. So I will insert a few pictures now, one with flash and then one in daylight so you can see what it looks like. And of course I will let you know how it wore throughout the day below as well as any kind of final thoughts as well because I will try it out for the next couple of days just to make sure. Um, but so far I really love it. I know that in the kind of beauty world we do tend to compare things just because they might seem a little bit similar in like one certain way. I really like this. I don't know if it lasts as long as the Anastasia one. If it does then I probably am gonna like them equally. I just think it's a completely different formula. Like I have other liquid foundations in different formulas that I love equally as much and I think I really do like this one a lot as well. I will say I think the coverage is a little bit less with this one, but again, that could be to do with the fact that I am a oilier person. So if you have dry skin, definitely let me know how you like this. I think this would be a little bit more forgiving on dry skin than the Anastasia one, but again, this is just based on how it wore on me. So far, nothing bad to say about it. Love the packaging, love how it applies, love the finish. Played nicely with other products and really no problems at all. So I will let you know how it wears. If you have any questions on this, definitely leave them below and I will do my best to answer them. You will also find all of my social media and anything else you might want to know in the description box. Please do give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.